about 10 years ago, my brother committed suicide um, and he did not get the help he needed. So I decided I was going to go back to school to be a nurse and go straight into psych. And that's exactly what I did. I'm Deb Niehoff and um, I was director of NAMI Central Iowa, retired about eight years ago, but mental health is still very much on my heart, especially because our daughter has, um, has mental health issues and we've been able to get a lot of help from agencies here in town and she has spent considerable time in the sixth floor of Mary Greeley Hospital, the behavioral health unit. Well, I appreciate the fact that, that Mary Greeley cares, and the result will be a better experience for the patient um, because they're listening to the patient voice and the parent voice, and so people are going to be cared for and they're going to get better faster because there's actually real meeting of the needs of the patients, not just what we think they might need, but what they actually need to feel secure, to feel safe, and to move toward wellness. And when I started with NAMI and when our daughter got sick over 20 years ago, that wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. My job at NAMI for the first, well, most of the way through was to talk to groups and to just explain how it is a physical illness. It's not just a, a weak character or, you know, someone who's not trying hard enough. Or it's, bad parenting. <laughs> yes, bad parenting. We wanted to drop that. Well, the thing that we have been impressed with in our interactions with the Behavioral Health Unit at Mary Greeley is that the staff is knowledgeable and also compassionate. Um, our daughter was sick for a long time, and a lot of people went down dead ends trying to figure out what was wrong. Um, yeah, she's our oldest daughter, and it was about 20 years ago that she came home from a, her first year of teaching, a job in California, and came home because she just was not well. And it was evident that there was something wrong. And we kept her home for a couple of days, but none of us slept during any of that time. And finally, we called the hospital, just said to the hospital, what do we do? I mean, we had no idea. We hadn't been down this road before. And they said, well, there's a behavioral health unit. Um, come in and start in the emergency room and, and we'll see. The on-staff psychiatrist spent about seven minutes with her, and he said, this is what this is, and this is what we need to do about it. And that was just amazing for us as parents. There wasn't as much information about mental health, and it just felt like putting her away. Um, but everyone was, was so kind and so warm, and it became obvious that that was where she needed to be. The need is tremendous, and I think right now, in the world, we're in a mental health crisis right now. There's a, there's a shortage of psychiatrists everywhere. Uh, we knew there was gonna be a mental health crisis on the heels of the pandemic. We are seeing it on the outpatient side. We're seeing it firsthand. Uh, people are just really struggling right now. And I think it's, you know, it's easy to understand. There's just a lot of stress. There's a lot of unpredictability. And I think people don't, they just don't know when that's gonna end. Um, and so that makes, um, you know, smaller provocations very difficult to deal with. It's it's very important specifically right now. I think among the problems that have faced us, uh, inconsistent funding, uh, changes in the funding methodologies, um, a uh, shortage of providers, uh, whether it's psychiatrists or uh, trained uh, mental health uh, advanced nurse practitioners, um, we just don't have enough folks to be able to meet the need. And of course, uh, we have begun the construction uh, following design of a new inpatient behavioral health unit, which we're really excited to be able to share with our community in the coming years. What I'm most excited about in um, moving into the new unit is serving more patients and being able to offer a safer space than we do now. Yeah, over the last few years, we've really made some significant changes, and I think improvements in capacity and capability at Mary Greeley. Um, I would say one of the most noteworthy is the addition of an outpatient clinic. Uh, that of course involved hiring a, an additional psychiatrist and standing up that 
uh, service really from scratch. Uh, in addition to that, we've added uh, capacity in our emergency department, uh, really in essence doubling our ability to take care of folks who need some isolation and some specialized care in our emergency department. One of the most rewarding things that I've ever seen is to see someone come in and, you know, they're adamant that they want to die and they want to commit suicide and when they actually start feeling better and we are able to help them realize that they have something to live for and you know that then they discharge and their families feel better about them being alone because they aren't worried that they're going to do something to themselves. It's probably the most rewarding thing in my job. And you should know that she's doing well, <laughs> okay? So she has her master's degree now. She has a professional job in town, uh, and she's doing very well. But every once in a while, she has a relapse, hopefully never again. But when, if it does happen, it's nice to have a facility here that she can go for care.